Hi, my name is Ben up at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today we're going to be looking at our brand new 2021 Winnebago Spider 29 STT. It's a toy hauler by Winnebago. A lot of really nice features. Number one, you got this fiberglass front cap. A lot more durable in that sense. Uh, your stabilizing system here, you are going to be able to actually, you know, control all the different ones, including the tongue jack. You have your power button. There's flips closed there. You got your propane takes up front, which we do fill before you go. I'll give you a little walk out the outside, show you some features here. So it does come with a 5500 Onan Cummins Onan generator, and there is a start button inside. So this is a true gen prep. Just gonna step back here so you can get a full view. Over here is gonna be our docking station. They do come with a docking light for you as well at nighttime. This is a 50 amp service because there is two air conditioners on top of this unit. You have your dump tank back below here. You have a single slide system on this one. It's nice, it gives you extra space, but at the same time, it's not gonna get in the way of you putting your toys inside. You're gonna have your fuel pump back below, back below here. You do have a ladder to get up top. And this system does come with the patio deck set up already ready to rock for you. Just a great feature that extends to the camper. You got lights up top, pre-wired for a backup camera as well. As I'm coming forward here, notice this is a, a fiberglass unit. Very, very nice fiberglass as well. And then these are your stabilizing jacks. You can see there's a manual override on those as well. That way if something does happen to go wrong. This unit has a GVWR of 13,000 pounds. That's a GVWR. That's if you're fully maxed out, loaded, you can't have anything more in here. Slam latch storage bag, st storage doors here. So you got aluminum frame, you got lights in here. This is your power cord. It does come with a spray hose as well. Nice big awning goes past the door, so you're not worried about getting rain on the steps. And it's not gonna get in the way of that door when it opens. This is a friction hinge door as well, so the wind is not gonna take it and blow it open or blow it closed. You got outdoor speakers under this awning. Beautiful LED lights as well as a light on top of the door as well. TV backer location there. Let's give you a look from this angle, the back end. Again, a beautiful big awning. That awning isn't even all the way out either. We just ran out of room right now. Nice big grab handle coming inside. Makes it easy to get in and out. Step inside right when you get in. You got your control panel. You do have a solar charge controller as well. You got your lights, your slide control, your start stop for your generator. Really nice counter space, especially considering how this unit's set up. On the back end here, you are gonna have a recliner that's movable, so you can even get it out there, get some sun, uh, get out in that fresh air. This couch, this couch does flip up, so then when the slide comes in, then you are not in the way of where your toys are. Oven, stove top, really nice storage down below as well. Nice deep drawer there. Have a hood, microwave combo, double door fridge and freezer. Just makes it very, very convenient. And even though they open like this, do you see it does connect as one? <sighs> nice cupboards up top. It is deep enough to put pots, pots and pans and plates. You got some drawers down below here as well. Go all the way down. Nice big deep metal sink. Multiple spray options there. That is unique. You don't see that very often. You have a vent fan up top. That's one of your air conditioners. The other one's gonna be in the bedroom. Here's your Bluetooth, HDMI, DVD, CD, radio, the whole nine yards right there. You have a Jensen sound bar under this TV that is on a swing arm as well. So you can have a lot of different spots that you can watch TV if you'd like to. Another feature about this unit that's fairly unique is that you don't notice right away, there's a lot of really nice windows. 
These couches do make into a bed. They roll over. You can see right now I put those legs down for stability in case somebody wants to sit on it. Nice big power bed that does come down right here. We do have a table up there that would go right here if you want it to, or you can move it. It goes wherever you want it to. So out on the patio here, easily put this down. Got this border out right now on this too. It just folds right up, sits right inside that door. And there's those lights up top. When you're inside, you pull this, that's gonna open the door. It's gonna unlatch it for you. Otherwise, if it's locked, you're not gonna be able to open it from the outside. Walking towards the bedroom area, another nice window here. Light switch, that's gonna be for the kitchen area. Now the bathroom, nice metal sink, porcelain toilet, good leg room, nice big corner shower, tons and tons of storage for the bathroom here. They really do a good job maximize that. Nice tall shower too, probably one of the tallest ones you'll see in the area, or the, in this category I should say. USB plugins on both sides of the bed, 110 as well. And you do have some storage underneath the bed here. That's gonna be our battery disconnect. Good pain storage on both sides. You got windows on both sides. There's your other air conditioner and your cable hookup as well. There's your thermostat so you can really, I mean, if you want it colder in the bedroom or warmer, you know, you have that ability to control that. That is a king size bed as well. I'm just gonna pan around on the inside one more time. So again, my name is Ben from Bullion RV. If you have any questions, need any help at all, please call me or text me at 507-402-2254. Thank you.